Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about storage location and storage categories in Odoo 60. Odoo has a feature where you can specify the storage location for the product according to the product types. So for that, let me go to the inventory module here and in the configuration settings, you need to enable the feature. So here you can see a feature storage locations. So let me enable the feature. So after enabling the feature, you can see the storage categories here where you can apply the putaway rules to storage categories for smarter decision. So after that, let me save the settings. And now after saving the settings, if we go to the configuration here, you can see the storage locations here. You can see the multiple locations. That is the virtual location, the partner location and the physical location. So these are the different types of locations that are available in Odoo 60. We will be discussing about the locations types in separate video in detail. And now in the configuration settings as you have enabled the feature storage categories. Let me go to the categories here and here you can see the multiple categories that is pre -confer reconfigured in Odoo. So let me select one of the category here and as you can see you can edit this. You can give the name of the storage category and here you have the option to allow the new products to the categories that is if you want to allow only if the location is empty you can add this option and if all the products are same you can add this option here. So depending on your specifications and your needs you can add the products to the category and if you want to add it add mixed products in the storage category that you have created you can use this option and you can also specify the weight and the capacity of the storage category here so here you have the option to add the line for adding the products to the storage category and you can add the quantity you can add the product after adding the product you can add the quantity for the product in this product category we add the product here the product quantity here and you can also mention the you know, measure so after giving the details about the storage category you can save it so after saving it now if you go to the locations here you can add the product category so let me add the product category to one of the location so here you have the option to add the storage category so let me add the storage category from here and you can also specify whether this location is a scrap location or not or if you want to specify it as a return location that that is if a product has been returned and if you want to specify the location as the return location for the products that have been returned to the warehouse you can add the loca location as the return, return location and you have different other options here inventory frequency you can add the cyclic count of the inventory frequency for this location so after adding the storage look category from here that you have edited so let me save the settings and here if you go back to the storage categories if you go to the locations here you can see the location which we have added so you can see the location under the category that we have added and now if you go to the put away rules you can add put away rules to the storage categories that you have created to give it a smarter way to manage the locations so here you can see all the storage categories that you have created so let me add a storage category and here you can add the product for the put away rule and here you can specify the product category if you have any and you can also specify the storage of the sub location you can specify this sub location here so we will be discussing about the put away rules and other details regarding the rules in a separate video so this is how you can manage the storage locations and storage categories in Odoo 16 that's all for today thank you